it's awfully quiet around the Miami Dolphins rumor mill as it relates to trade rumors. With the NFL deadline approaching quickly, should we expect anything? If there is one thing we have learned about Chris Greer it's that they know how to keep everything in-house. By the time someone starts to get a whiff of what is going on, it's breaking news, there are plenty of so-called insiders out there on social media who will tweet some cryptic message that something big is coming but that is more or less a typically rear-covering tweet. If something does, look at how great I am, if it doesn't, no one will remember, right now, everyone is remaining quiet. Should Dolphins fans be worried? There are plenty of needs on the roster but so far, Miami is taking the street free agent route, Miami has signed offensive lineman Grant Hermans to the practice squad this week. After placing Brandon Jones on season-ending injury, they signed wide receiver Calvin Jackson and defensive back Jamal Perry to the practice squad while signing Brandon Shell to the active roster last week. Is this enough to get the beaten and battered Dolphins through the next several weeks and into the playoff chase? Miami has plenty of needs. Another starting quality cornerback to play opposite Xavier Howard. Byron Jones, expected back for the start of the season is now heading into week 8 still on the pup list, the depth at secondary has taken massive hits this year and only three healthy cornerbacks were in the game last week. Miami could also use another starting offensive guard. Liam Eikenberg had a good game against the Steelers last week but this year he has been a liability. With Brandon Jones out, Miami needs safety help but not as much considering they have Eric Rowe, from linebacker help to running back, there are ways to improve the roster and the Dolphins really need to look at the long term. Someone like Roquan Smith of Chicago would be a long-term answer at linebacker. Miami needs to concentrate more on the years to come and not just an immediate solution. They need both, the trade deadline is November 1st at 4 o'clock so if the Dolphins are going to get active, we should start seeing some activity over the next day or two but I would not expect anything on Sunday. Miami's best option would be on Saturday but game plans are already set so the likelihood of sending a player out of Miami, say Mike Gesicki, won't likely happen until Monday and that could be a risky play should he get hurt, chances are, the Dolphins are going to stay pat and hold on to their draft picks and their players. I don't see Miami pulling any type of blockbuster deal. They did that with Hill last March.